From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The Rosebank node has enjoyed much success and years of developments. However, there are a number of challenges that require further support from the city of Johannesburg to mitigate and to bolster further developments in the area. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. Rosebank Management District noted during a media walk of the area last month that Rosebank plays a key role in the city and called on the city of Johannesburg to assist in ensuring more development as the challenges cannot be resolved by the district alone. Accelerate Managed Services Rosebank Precinct Manager Larato Kiba provides some background. Rosebank was a pioneer in city improvement districts with the RMD being the first registered seat in Johannesburg. Much has changed from 1998, 23 years, and we must grow stronger and refocus on an ever morphing landscape. From its beginning, Rosebank has focused on its core mandate, that of a clean and safe street. While this presents numerous challenges, we must continue to adapt. With the arrival of How Train in Rosebank, we saw an exponential influx of visitors wandering tourist investment and of course construction and since then a consistent inflow into the neighborhood we have also seen an increase in minor crimes of course we're tackling this head on and making good progress rosebank saps has continually mentioned that crime in the district is lower than surrounding areas however we cannot rest on our laurels. Given the significant challenges the city of Johannesburg is facing, it is our duty to ensure that this unique collection of people, being stakeholders and investors, are protected in the way that they deserve to be protected. In terms of the lack of resources from COJ, this task is even harder. In saying this, we as the custodian of Rosebank are committed to servicing this district. One challenge that has affected most of the node has been the impact of COVID-19, especially given that the node is heavily reliant on tourism. Despite this, under the leadership of the RMD, Rosebank has continued to grow and attract investment. This includes the Keys Art Mile, international hotels, Anglo-American employees moving into the area soon, and how train developments. With practical and financial support from the city, the RMD hopes to successfully resolve challenges caused by Rosebank's rapid densification. These include the sustainable upgrading of overburdened basic infrastructure, the establishment of a new dedicated taxi rank to accommodate an expanding commuter population, the eradication of illegal parking, and the maintenance of Rosebank's neglected green spaces. Hyprop portfolio executive Nicole Greenstone expands on this support. What we would like to do is highlight the role that the Rosebank Management District plays in providing supplementary and complementary services to the city, but also to use this opportunity to reach out to the city of Joburg and the various MMCs to ask you for your assistance in ensuring that there will be another decade of development in Rosebank. There are a number of challenges which the Rosebank Management District is not able to resolve on its own. We need to have a strong partnership with the city and we need to have more buy-in and support from the existing stakeholders. So this is actually a call to action to existing landlords to please join us on the Rosebank Management District, contribute as much as you can, but from the city's point of view, can you work with us to see if there is a more formalized way that the Rosebank Management District can operate, either through legislation or a more formalized partnership whereby we can unlock value, we can deal with the crime and the grime that unfortunately is becoming uh, a bit of a scourge and we'd like to arrest the problems now before they become of such a magnitude that values within the district start to erode. So this is really to highlight the incredible successes of our entrepreneurs and the beautiful architecture and investments that are taking place within the node. We don't want to have Rosebank Management District and the Rosebank Node become something that people appreciate above the street level. We want to ensure that the streets are free, that they are traversable, that our pedestrian corridors do not become 
places where people are too afraid to traverse. We want to ensure that the enjoyment of Rosebank is also felt at a street level and not just up in the beautiful architecture. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.